Land conflict in Muslim Mindanao is often driven by skewed, unclear, and overlapping claims of land ownership. This is a perennial problem in the region. However, there are new triggers to land conflict during a transition. New proper blocks are one to flex their muscles and impose their interests. There was a rush to secure formal land titles after the ratification of the Mangsamoro Organic Law or the BOL in the second quarter of 2019. Magindano families allied with the Moro Islamic Liberation Front or the MILF were emboldened to assert their land claims, a situation that is bound to intensify when previous MILF camps are ranked fenced and headlessly transferred to this, despite the presence of competing claims. These moves have exposed the political economic agenda, economy agendas of former rebel combatants, plus the extremist BIFF who have recently figured in violent platforms. Ground zero in the long-standing land conflicts are the villages of Koya, Pandan, and Itao in South Opi. The occupants of these areas are members of the Tiduray, Lambangian, and Gindungulan Manobu ethics group, ethnic groups, ethnic groups. Previous in enemies of Maguindano claimants in previous land disputes, the absence of a land law has left a vacuum now being filled by bold, entitled, and ravensful armed groups operating in these villages and other villages in Maguindano, and other villages in Maguindano, North Cotabato, and Lanao del Sur. Indigenous people leaders insist that these deadly land disputes could have been prevented if the creation of an IP and land code had been prioritized. A promise made by Barm, Chief Minister and concurrent BTA head Ibrahim Murad before the BOL was ratified. But time flies fast and promises tend to be broken. Indeed, leaving no one behind seems an appropriate them for this year's celebration of the International Day for Indigenous Peoples on August 9. It reminds people of how indigenous peoples have been left behind. The call for a new contract leaves a bitter taste in the mouth among the Tedorai. Limu Ailabi Aling Bandara relates how their filing of a certificate of ancestral domain title continues to be mired in bureaucratic delays and inaction. The Yakan of Basilan are similarly placed. Their application remains pending too. They and the other indigenous communities are the real uh, minorities within the minority. People who were needed to ratify the BOL now feel nullified uh, by the bar. Indigenous people from various parts of the Bangsamoro are demanding that the regional government prioritize the passage of the IP code and have called on Congress to conduct inquiries on the killings of indigenous peoples in central Maguindanao. The Bangsamoro Transition Authority can take proactive states, steps to collaborate with the National Commission on Indigenous Peoples or NCIP to, pro to process the CADT claims of various IP groups pending since 2005. Representatives in the House and the Senate have also demanded a review of the implementation of the Bangsamoro Organic Law on indigenous peoples in a much wider investigation of human rights violations committed against IPs. Alongside the search for peace in indigenous communities, there is a similar and growing need to focus on the oppression and displacement of Muslim communities in the provinces adjoining the Bangsamoro region. Lest we forget, struggles for land do not discriminate. Violent flashpoints linked to land and erupting south of Maguindanao in Polomolok, General Santos, and Kidapawan. In these places, Muslim groups are the targets of death and displacement. These steps underscore the importance of resource conflicts related to land as struggles that can unite rather than divide the Bangsamoro. 
the Islamized and non-Islamized tribes in these different areas in Maguindanao share the same struggle over vital resources such as land, but the resources that has bitterly divided peoples throughout history can also unite them and pave the way for a shared solution to the pervasive problem of land.